dude, Midlands was this weekend, Scuffle was this weekend, college wrestling season is in full swing. We saw some really high level technique, some of the most basic stuff you can see, some of the more uh, kind of off the wall stuff that you can see. And then there was some stuff like Zahid Valencia went in the Midlands and he did it with some of the most fundamental offense I've seen um, at an NCAA level. Valencia cuts it back, and he covers, and he's going to get two there right off the bat for Zahid Valencia. And then another sweep single by Valencia. He brings it up in the air, tables it. Valencia gets another takedown. His single leg is the thing of beauty, right? Just to set it up, okay, break down. So he goes boom here, and then as the guy clubs back, he just disappears on the single leg. But when he comes up with it, the finish is always, has always kind of been the hard part. He has perfect position on single leg finishes. When he gets the single leg up, the guy starts bringing the foot to the other side. And that's fine. Look, that's his job, right? But one of the things that you'll notice about Zahid is that A, he uses his own leg to shelf the other guy's leg. And so he kind of takes a little bit of the pressure off the lock. Like if you look at this, Joe's huge. I mean, I, the guys are just a brick house. Uh, <laughs> so, but, but holding his leg is not going to be easy, especially if he doesn't want me to. So kind of taking a little bit of the pressure off the lock by, by shelving it on my leg is super helpful. The other thing that I, the, I don't know if you notice that I'm doing is my head is perfectly put into the guy's pectoral muscle. If I go down like this, he can get weight on me and I'm in trouble. Come back. If I go up like this, he gets a shoulder under and I'm in trouble again. So where you put your head is super duper important. It has to be right in that armpit, right in the, the pectoral muscle. Now, what you saw Zahid do that was awesome and really, really fundamentally sound is when the guy started to square up, freeze, good, he did what I call a head wheel. He popped his head to the other side and he really did a good job of keeping his hands locked. Okay, a lot of guys want to try and go to a double off of this, but you split your power. I'm going to switch my head to the other side and now I can take a little bit of a drop step here. He switches and the hands stay locked just about the entire time. Once I get a takedown, obviously, you can start looking for a, a cradle and a bottom leg stuff, but for the most part, it was done with his hands locked the entire time. Ready to go, ladies and gentlemen, 174 pounds semifinals. We've got Ethan Ramos of UNC out of North Carolina. He's taking on Kyle Crutchmore. Oh, and a So Kyle Crutchmer, now the, the nice thing about Crutchmer's headlock is that he's hitting it from leg attacks, right? So he's shooting from the outside, and he knows darn well that when he gets to here, he's not going to get that double every time. But when he does get pulled up, whoop, right here, here's the lock. This is super duper important. If I'm six inches lower, I don't get enough pressure, right? He can kind of clamp down on this, right? And he can kind of work. If I'm too far up, his head slips out. Right? So the, the lock becomes super important. I need it right at the base of the neck. And again, I don't care how you lock your hands. However you can get them locked, lock them. But it's right at the base of the neck. And here's the other thing, right? I want to pull his face into my chest and clamp my elbows down as hard as I can. Now, the cool thing about this is that when Crutchmer hits it, he can hit it to both sides. So if the guy starts to circle to his right, go to your right, he just sags here, boom, like that. If the guy really goes hard to the, no, you can go to the right again. If he goes really hard, he steps through here and whoop, gets some really good height on it, um, which he did against Iowa last year at that big duel. But also, if the guy goes the other way and circles in front here, he can sag this way. Now, if you notice, right, a lot of this stuff is done with a pivot. So if you watch my feet, Right? Whether I be going this way, oh, I'm gonna pivot, right? Or if I'm going this way, my feet pivot. And if you watch uh, Crutchmer's ankles, his whole ankle bone touches the ground, right? So his foot goes from here whew, all the way to there. He overcommits on every single pivot that he does. 